Hi, Miss Linda here. We've got another bonus lesson, and it's a form of printmaking that everyone can do at home. We're going to be using white tempera paints, black paper, or any dark paper that you have will work. We're going to go around the house, ask for permission before you take anything. Get some cotton balls, get some corrugated cardboard, a marker, it's because we're going to need some round things. I won't tell you why, but I'm going to give you an idea. Toilet paper rolls or paper towel rolls, because they're curved, we can cut them, we can make them tighter, we'll have a little more control over those. Don't forget your cotton balls and your cotton swabs, popsicle sticks. Whatever you think you're going to need, you can find. When we do it, we're going to be pressing something into something else, which is what an imprint is. Whether it's a muddy tire driving over the road, leaving a mark in its path, whether you're walking along the beach, and your footprints are in the sand. When you lift your head off a pillow, you leave an imprint in your pillow. So we are going to create the most amazing imprint painting. Ready? Let's go. So we're ready to do our seascape imprints. Remember, everything is pushed, nothing is painted, nothing is rubbed or moved, it's just imprinted. So I have my little doodad, what do you call these? Yes ma'am, they are cotton balls. I did not use these, but it's good to have around in case you want to make a small area. Use the bottom of something like this. We have our thin, thin, thin cardboard. We have our corrugated cardboard, and again, different openings will create different stamps, different designs. My favorite, and the one I used the most, was your paper towel or toilet paper roll. I'm going to simply cut this down the middle, and I'll show you in just a moment why it's so great. Turn it. Toilet paper is rolls are much easier to cut. All right, we'll set that off to the side. I do have some here already that are already trimmed. You can see that they make a curved design and you'll need that because we are going to do an ocean scene with a boat at night. Normally we're used to doing black on white. I love using white paint. So you're going to get some white tempera paint, shake it up, make sure it's not thick on the bottom. Then you have a paper plate. Any plate will work. Notice, I am putting just a small amount. We don't need a ton with this. You'll need some little pieces of black paper and your full-size black paper. Now, I promise you a seascape. This is why we have the small black paper. You test out before you actually put it on your drawing. You will save yourself a lot of misery sometimes, like, oh, I didn't want that. Or sometimes it's too thick and you can see and you can just dab some off. So I'm going to flip this over because this is what I used when I did my examples, which I would like to show you. I did it on blue after I did it on black, and I really like it. You can see how imprints also leave texture. There's thick and thin areas. And then this is my other. This was the first one I did. And see, it didn't leave paint there, but I didn't care because this is an imprint. This is something that's printed, not drawn. So we're going to do sea, moon, clouds, and the ship of your choice. If you like, say, pirate ships, you're going to do a pirate ship. Now, you start out with your black paper. Horizon line is so important. Where does that sky meet the water? Then I just lightly, lightly, lightly drew with a white pencil. Now I'm going to show you. If you use a regular pencil, you will also be able to see. And it doesn't matter because you're going to be putting white over it. This is where the fun part starts. These are a group of what I used to do my original ones. Now I'm using them again because once the paint dries on it, it actually grabs a new paint better. So let's start with our moon. I've done this. I've done this, and now I choose to do this. So we're going to dip. Don't dunk. No dunking. And then I'm going to swirl it around and look at it. There's a big glob, so I'm going to dump again. I'm going to put it down. Press. That's what it is. It's an imprint. Now I have a little design around it, but 
guess what? I'll use this to fill that in. When you're done with this, put it on your paper towel. I'm going to spin this around and look. I think I'll just do this. One, two, three, and get the glow of the moon. All right, ready? This is where I love. This is so fun and I wasn't sure if it was gonna work. Pull it apart so it's kind of fuzzy. Gently dip this in. You do not want to dunk your cotton balls. And then I'm gonna test it. Let's test it out. All right, clouds all over in and turn it and you'll get a different design. It actually looks like a bunch of birds right now, but we'll fix that. Dunk and dip and dip. No dunk, just dip. And I'm gonna put this in here before I do the ship so that we can just go right over and have the clouds put this over here. Now, this is where the curves come in. You can bend them. You can make them a little curvier. I'm gonna use the side that I already had. Dip, test. It's kind of dark, so I'm going to Create my clouds, and you're gonna turn them. Um, and notice I'm not working super, super, super slow. You can go back after you've got your original imprint done and add anything you like. See how they just start forming clouds? It's amazing. Now this is very dark. So I want to have the moonlight is coming down, so the clouds will be a little bit brighter. Dip, dip, dip. Reminds you of stamps that you play with and make designs. All right, I'm going to now move to our ship. Take this, put it on my paper towel. I'm gonna to use this thin one. It doesn't, it's not corrugated, so it's just a straight line. Dip, test, create that boat. It seems Super simple, and I am doing it super fast for you so that you can get right to it when you're ready. You want to leave some of the black showing, but you want to make sure that you see that it's a solid boat. All right, one over here. We're going to do, I'm going to change it up. Let's do, when you use this side, you're going to get two lines. When you use this side, you're going to get the really cool design. I prefer to use the two lines right now, so I'm going to dip. This is why we didn't need a lot of paint because we are just, all right, here we go. One, you can wiggle it, but no moving it, no painting with it. Otherwise it's not an imprint. And since an imprint is a print, curved sails. I want curved sails so I can round, you know, round this around my finger, get it just the right, test it out. It's a little long, so I'm just gonna trim it. There is no problem too big that we can't fix. Bend and press and press. Nice, so the wind's blowing this way, so this one must also be blowing that way. Otherwise, it would be going in two directions at one time. We don't want that. Now, this is a really great way to get some texture in there and some white without filling it all in. It is a broken comb. You must ask before you use any of these tools that I'm showing you to make sure. All right, let's make this a big white sail. When you put something like this in it, you make it interesting. Now this one, will just take this again, dip it, and maybe do it two more times just to fill it in and make it a white sail. There you go. So we've got the sky, we've got the boat. Now we're gonna do the ocean which is super fun. Waves go one way. And you saw I could dip, dip, and then I could put it down so many times. Now, where is the sun, where is the moon gonna be showing? It's gonna come this way, so it'll be darker where the boat blocks it. So I'm going to toss this one and get a smaller one and go in the different direction to create that ocean. And I want, I want that beautiful, moon and then after you've got all of your circles in here if it drips on your paper that's okay all right now i'm going to take my corrugated cardboard wherever i put it all right what should i use i think i'll use a medium and a small see how it gets in there so test it first to make sure see where the bubbles are 
Now it's starting to get the design I want. Now you can actually create this water scene without it being a straight line. All right, we still need more lightness there, right? I'm gonna fill my boat in a little bit. So let's try this one. Dip, 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 dip. You can hear me dipping. If you can't see me dipping, I am dipping. Testing. This one in the middle just won't grab the paint. So let's see what kind of a design we get from it. Let's do the horizon line with it. Choppy waters up above. This is evening it out so that you're filling in some of the black space. All right, now we really need to get that moonlight in the ocean. So I'm doing this again. I can tell already by looking I have too much paint. So let's get this moon. We'll have it come towards here. All right, there you go. If I would like to put more into it, I can step away, take a look at it again. But remember, with simple tools, simple little things you have around the house, a little white paint, dark paper, red paper, black paper, brown paper, you will come out with an amazing imprint. You're gonna have a blast. Have fun and share it with someone else.